Last week we looked at decomposition. Decomposition was breaking down large problems into smaller parts that are more manageable and easy to understand, such as this music festival, where we break it down into different jobs that we needed to do to run a music festival. By decomposing a problem, the smaller parts can be examined, solved or designed individually and they are simpler to work with. The order of the tasks wasn't important during decomposition, it was just breaking down. Some of you were already thinking about this week's word, which is algorithms. Algorithms are one of the four cornerstones of computer science, along with decomposition, abstraction and pattern recognition. An algorithm is a plan, a set of step-by-step -step instructions to solve a problem, such as tying shoelaces, making a cup of tea, getting dressed, preparing a meal. They're all types of algorithm, but you're doing them rather than the computer. You're already pretty good at writing an algorithm out as a list of instructions, such as a recipe. So we're going to look at flowcharts, which is a way of representing an algorithm as a series of instructions, but using symbols. Here is a flowchart, very apt for the weather at the moment, about whether to take an umbrella out with you on a walk. This flowchart starts at the top, where it says start, and flows down the page. However, you're not always going down the page if you follow the instruction. The diamond shape asks a question. It's making a decision. Is it raining? If it's not raining, then you're going to go to the left of the flowchart and it will say, don't bring an umbrella, and then you can flow straight down to the end. However, if your answer to the question of, is it raining, is yes, you'll go on to the next step, which is to find an umbrella. And then the question is, have you found the umbrella? If the answer is yes, then great, bring it, and then you can go on your walk. However, if you haven't found the umbrella, the answer is no, and you flow back up the flow diagram to the question of raining again. If it's still raining, you've got to find the umbrella. If it's stopped raining, you can not bring your umbrella and go for your walk. You may have noticed that each of the parts of the flowchart had a different shape. Here's what they mean. So it's the shapes rather than the colour that are important. At the top, you can see the oval shapes. These signify the start and the end of the flowchart, or the start and the end of the algorithm. Then you've got the diamonds. They are representing questions or decisions. You will find it easier if you think about these as questions, such as, is it raining? Have I found the umbrella? The rectangles are your process or instructions in between your questions and getting to the end of your algorithm, such as, find the umbrella, or don't take the umbrella, or take the umbrella. And finally, the rectangles that look like they're sort of leaning over are for inputs and outputs. So if you're thinking about this as code, it's where you might get the score or create a variable or things like that, but you may not need those today. So now you know a little about flowcharts, it's over to you. Using the flowchart for whether to take an umbrella, you fill out your copy of the PDF for applying sunscreen. You can open it on your iPad in Google Classroom and tap on the pencil so that you can write over the top of the PDF and submit it. That's the first task. Now grab a pencil and paper, it can be rough paper or a notebook, that's fine, and you're going to be drawing your own flowchart. Choose one of the following to make your flowchart. Making toast with one topping, like butter. Washing your hands thoroughly in a Covid safe way with soap. Or ordering fast food like a burger, chips and drink at McDonald's. Use the shapes from the diagram before. Make sure you have a start and an end. Include at least one decision in that diamond shape and don't forget to label your answers like yes and no. And include all other instructions in rectangles. Make sure you use arrows to show which direction you're flowing in the flowchart. Good luck. Hand your work in on Google Classroom when you're done. If you're super quick, do a second one from the list.